Lagos State government receives over 100,000 copies of exercise books from the Renewed Hope Initiative of Wife of the President. House of Representatives moves to ensure improved wages for workers. On the 14, Haiti gangs threaten civil war as unrest spreads. And in sports, Minister of Sports Development John Ennor urges Team Nigeria to go for victory at African Games in Ghana. And now the details, I am Akan Usen. The Renewed Hope Initiative of the Wife of the President, Oremi Tunubu, has handed over 100,000 copies of exercise books for public primary school pupils and junior secondary school students to Lagos State Government. Wife of the President and National Chairman of Renewed Hope Initiative, RHI, Oremi Tunubu, was represented by Honorable Wahab Alawiye King, noted that the best is yet to come for the nation, and the RHI remains resolute to use education as an important tool to develop the nation. Speaking at the event, wife of the Lagos State Governor, Ibijoke Sawulu, noted that the gesture from Mrs. Tinubu is aligned with her resolve to use education as a critical tool to enhance national development, given its importance in the personal growth of the younger generation. We continue to learn to enter the grave. Learning is continuous. And when you have people that are educated, it changes the perspective and how people behave in the society. Each and every one of you inside this room, no matter how young you are, is an ambassador of education and will in your own different communities. Whatever you have learned, whatever you have experienced, whatever skills you have gained, you will use it to influence that little community in the family, in the home, in the neighborhood. Commissioner for Basic and Secondary Education, Tolani Ali Balugu, who commended the initiative, stated that it portrays the love and passion of Mrs. Tinubu for education, based on her past milestone accomplishments in the state. The books are expected to be distributed to the schools through the State Commissioner for Basic and Secondary Education and the Executive Chairman of Lagos State Universal Basic Education Board, Lasubeb. The Lagos State Safety Commission and the Lagos State Environmental Protection Agency, LASEPA, have resolved to enforce indoor smoking at nightclubs, bars and lounges across the state. In a joint statement issued by the Director, Safety Commission, Larry Mojola, and General Manager, LASEPA, Tungiajai, at a safety workshop organized for the hospitality sector owners across the state, with the theme, establishing a safety culture in the nightlife sector in Lagos State, both agencies noted that it is high time Nigeria's complied with rules and regulations as it relates to international best practices. Mojala maintained that in every hotel, there should be designated places for smoking cigarettes, but not at a public place where everyone is relaxing. In his own words, the general manager, La Sepa, Tsundiajai, said with forums like this from time to time, there will be proper information and education on how best to conduct hospitality business in a customer-friendly and safety-conscious environment. The Lagos State Emergency Management Agency, La Sema, has recovered all three vehicles involved in the multiple accidents which occurred at Shita in Surulere Axis of the state. Permanent Secretary La Sema, Olufemi Okel Sonitulu, said in attendance at the incident where the La Sema response team, La Sambos, Plasma, Divisional Police Officer, DPO of Surulere Divisional Office, and officers from Ikmori Police Station. Okel Soitolu explained that a Loma PSP compactor truck was involved in the multiple accident when it lost control and crashed into a Kia Rio Salon car on Shita Bridge as a result of a disengaged propeller. He said the compactor thereafter crashed down the side of the bridge onto a seven passenger minibus and a tricycle. 
And now to the rest of the stories. The House of Representatives has resolved to put in place modalities for the payment of living wages to Nigerian workers. The resolution of the lawmakers followed the adoption of a motion moved by minority leader of the House, Kingsley Chinda, and 39 others during plenary session. Leading the debate on the motion titled, Need to Provide Living Wage for Workers in Nigeria, Deputy Minority Leader of the House, Ali Madaki, said the rising rates of inflation in the country has made it difficult for the average Nigerian to afford basic needs including food, water, housing, education, healthcare, transportation, clothing, among others. According to him, the rising inflationary rate in the country has also had a negative effect on the cost of living, but the cost of food, accommodation, education, and transportation skyrocketing. The Joint Admissions and Matriculations Board says the 2024 Mock Unified Tertiary Matriculation Examination will be held tomorrow, Thursday, March 7, 2024. The board says all candidates sitting for the 2024 Mock UTME will be allowed to enter the examination hall with an ordinary HP pencil for numerical analysis if desired. Yeah, spokesperson Fabian Benjamin says the clarification became necessary following the series of inquiries from candidates and the general public regarding whether HP pencils were permitted in the examination hall as a writing material. Benjamin urges candidates to note that they are to come with only one pencil to their examination centers as specified while ensuring they are not to be in possession of any other prohibited items. The Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, FCT, Nyesom, he says the Abuja Rail Mass Transit ARMT project is 95% complete and will be ready for inauguration in May. We can say to this when the Belgian, Belgian ambassador to Nigeria, Daniel Bertrand, visited him in Abuja. He explained that the feat was part of efforts to improve public transportation in the federal capital, Abuja. We also acknowledge that the deficit in public transportation constituted a security challenge in the city, noting that most of the operators were not registered. The minister added that the government had concluded plans to build taxi and bus terminals where residents could patronize registered and identified operators. And now to foreign news. The guy Behind the violence blighting the Haitian capital has warned that there will be a civil war if Haiti's Prime Minister Irol Henry does not step down. Jimmy Barbecue Cherizia made the threat as members of his gang tried to seize the capital's airport to stop Henry from returning to the country. Unrest has spread to other cities with a prison riot reported in Jacmel, while thousands have been displaced by the violence. Barbecue, who leads the powerful G9 gang alliance, said on Tuesday that if Ariel Henry does not resign, the country will be heading straight for a civil war that will lead to genocide. The G9 alliance has unleashed a war of violence, including attacks on police stations and the storming of the country's two main prisons. Thousands of inmates escaped in a mass jailbreak on Saturday. And now sports. Minister of Sports Development John Eno has urged Nigeria's contingent to the African Games taking place in Ghana to conquer Africa. Eno assured the team that the entire nation is solidly behind them. He also tasked the departing athletes to build on the strong performance of the country in the previous games by posting a strong performance that will ensure that Nigeria emerges the best in Africa. It's well interesting to know that the 12th African Games took place in Rabat, Morocco in 2019 and Nigeria came second, having won 46 gold, 33 silver and 48 bronze medals. Just before we go, stay alive. Make use of pedestrian bridges were available. You can follow us and like all our various social media platforms on X, formerly Twitter, 
Traffic Radio 961. Instagram Traffic Radio, Lagos Traffic Radio 961. Facebook Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM. On YouTube, subscribe and watch us live on our channel, Traffic Radio 961. Did you know that the Sanwolu administration trained 150 small-scale business owners in digital marketing? You can get more details on the Lagos State Government's website. To end the news, here are the highlights of the major stories. The renewed hope initiative of the wife of the president, Onuremi Tinubu, has handed over 100,000 copies of exercise books for public primary school pupils and junior secondary school students to Lagos State Government. The House of Representatives has resolved to put in place modalities for the payment of living wages to Nigerian workers. Was it told you that the gang leader behind the violence blighting the Haitian capital has warned that there will be a civil war if Haiti's Prime Minister Ariel Henry does not step down. And in Sports Minister of Sports Development John Enor has urged Nigeria's contingent to the African Games taking place in Ghana to conquer Africa. For contact with the newsroom, please send a message to Lagos Traffic Radio at lagosstate.gov.ng. And that ends the news broadcast compiled by Zainab Adibeshini. I am Akan Usen. Thanks for listening and please stay safe. Good evening.